Hello, Paul. Hello, Jeffrey. Hello, John. Hello, Colin. My name is Damian, and it's a pleasure to meet you guys. How are you? Yeah, good. All right. Nice good to, to see you, man. Good, good, Damian. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. If this continues, it won't be long before you've nothing left. I don't care what happens to me. Well, I really enjoy this movie as a superhero movie fan. So I wanted to ask you, did you have any special training for your roles? I mean, for example, watching older Batman movies, read comics, or talk with actors that played your roles before? I think if you're old enough, you've watched a lot of these things <laughs> when you're a child, with your, if you have kids, with your kids, you know? Yeah. Uh, so you've been through the whole thing, you know? I mean, the whole idea of someone in black with a mask on, I think appeals to kids. I, when I was a little kid, I loved Zorro, you know, but, and then Batman came on after okay. that, you know? Yes. And so it was, there's just something about it. And I love those, you know, those, those comics because he doesn't really have any superpowers, which I yes. really like, which was, which has made me always like Batman. You know, because he has to use his mind and everything. Yeah, I the same as John. I'm I'm glad to say I'm old enough to have remembered watching the Adam West Batman TV show, and then oh yes, and then when I was a teenager, Tim Burton's Batman came around, and that was huge for me when that came out. And then with my with my kids, I watched Chris Nolan's Batman, Christian Bale's incarnation of it. You know, so generationally, I've I've been with yes. it from the start. I feel. Um, so to be part of it this time and just inhabit that world and all the nostalgia that it comes with and knowing that there are people that this character actually means a lot to. It's not just entertainment. As, as an icon, it means a lot to people. You know, there's a certain sense of truth and justice in Batman that yes. I think the world kind of aspires to um, and aspires to push against the forces of evil, whether it's political or criminal or sometimes both, of course. Uh, yeah. At the same time. <laughs> so yeah, it was, it, was, it was amazing to be able to kind of you know, hitch my wagon to the history of this thing, you know? We both, I think, read uh, and loved the comics, you know, the comics, really. I mean, there's so much energy to yes. soak up there and to bring forward. And also, it's just fun and it's inspiring to be a part of that history. Our job is to bring and interpret something new. You know, Matt has brought a point of view that is his, it's singular. I think it's really exciting. But of course, that history is something that we care about and, and want to tap into as well. No, I agree. I think, you know, what's interesting about the comics is that they've become increasingly cinematic, you know, yes. over time. Uh, and so our film is really kind of, you know, it's, it's bending back in some thematic ways and in, uh, uh, you know, narrative ways back toward the comics and the detective aspect of it. So we're really kind of, you know, bending toward one another, the comics and the film coming together. Uh, in, in this one in a, in a way that I think serves the evolution of the series in a really healthy way. So yeah, like Paul, I, you know, I went back and dug into the, into the comics mainly, yeah. It's only gonna get worse for you. And have you ever thought or dreamed of being in a superhero movie or isn't something you never thought of? Maybe I thought of it once or twice, yeah. <laughs> okay. Maybe. Yeah. I, 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 to be honest, I got giddy. I really got giddy when I heard that they were doing the Batman, and I and I knew okay. Matt Reeves's work, and I loved Matt Reeves's work, and I just thought right. this would be incredibly exciting to be a part of, and it really, really was. I think all of us, John, and and I, I think Robert and Paul and Zoe, we all, Jeffrey, we all shared a kind of a sense of childlike excitement and then you go to work and you take it serious and stuff and you explore but we're all I think pretty excited about being part of it you know and your characters have a lot of story uh, they have been in thousands of comics and have amazing backstories what do you like the most about them I, I think my primary job here is to work with the foundation which is Matt's script and to sort of unearth a new backstory for this particular yes. Edward and for this particular Riddler. And the backstory was an essential element to understanding who this person was, to understand who they could become with their mask on. So yes. th that's an incredibly important part of preparing any role, but this, it, it was a particularly important, and, and if you've seen the film, I think you can understand that. So it was, it, the only thing to take from previous iterations is more the sort of archetypal energy that exists somehow in the idea of Batman and the idea of Gotham. 
And you, Jeffrey? Well, I, I think there for for Gordon, uh, there's, you know, he he pro he projects a certain kind of public face, and he has a certain uh, there's a certain clarity about him. I think the, part of what uh, Batman is uh, attracted to in terms of this partnership is that. Um, you know, there's, there's, there, there are no ulterior motives with Gordon. Um, yes. But at the same time, you know, in terms of his backstory, what happens when he's back in his home? I think there, you know, he's an, he's a character that, as, as, as I realize, is continually overwhelmed by circumstances. And um, so I think, um, you know, there's uh, as much strength and kind of clarity as he projects. Yes. Uh, in public, I think, you know, in private, uh, there's another story to be told. And, you know, uh, it goes unrealized or, un, um, you know, unexamined here. But um, perhaps that won't always be the case. What's black and blue and dead? All of Thank you so much, guys. And congratulations Thanks. for the movie. It's amazing. Thanks. Really. Thank you. Thanks. I got you!